Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new video and today we're gonna look at my mid-year project pen uh, kind of like update or kind of like um, wrap up uh, and I'm gonna share with you both my eyeshadow palettes and my uh, face product at the end of last year I kind of split it into uh into like eyeshadows and then the face products but today i'm gonna share with you all of it i'm gonna share with you how much i've used it uh and what's the difference from the end of last year and uh if we've created any pants if we've like gone through some products if we've been able to use something up completely and just kind of share with you where we are uh at this like mid-year point um so hopefully you'll enjoy that i will definitely link both of these videos uh, in the lower corner and under the video as well and in case you're new here hi my name is sasha i love indie makeup i love colorful makeup especially eyeshadows lately i've been also getting into like blushes and highlighters and all these like fun things i don't really collect foundations or concealers or stuff like that but everything colorful and fun that's definitely something that I love and in case you're interested in this look I don't know if it's already up on my channel or if it's gonna come up soon after this video but I am filming my review of the Haggard uh, eyeshadow palette so I have this one called the uh, Captive Tonight Scepter series that's what I'm wearing and I'm also um, reviewing the uh, the Ecstasy of Saint Last Scepter series. So you will see the review of both of these palettes soon or you've already seen it and if it is already up on my channel I will link it in the little corner as well. So that's kind of all for the intro and now let's get into all the products. Okay, so we're gonna start with the uh, eyeshadow palettes. First I have this uh, little quad. This is like all singles. So I have this shade Sigil, Allure, um, Idol and Parsec. Uh, I don't know how much uses were in them at the end of the year but I haven't really used them all that much. I think I've only used them like once. This shade maybe like three times as a blush. Uh, but so far we're at 5 uses for the shade Sigil, 9 uses for Allure, Idol 4 uses and Parsec 7 uses. And as you can see I don't have any pen yet uh, but I think I'm going to be able to pen this shade soon because it's kind of like getting there. And I want to take this on some kind of vacation or something, maybe just like longer, maybe just like a weekend vacation or something to just like use it. Then we have the Odin's Eye uh, Art Palette. So uh, at the beginning of the year, we had 23 uses and now we're at 38 uses. And I think the only pen was the shade called Time because I think I uh, created the pen after like 21 uses or something. Um, like uh, at the um, after 21 uses of the entire palette. So I believe this one was already there, if I remember that correctly. And then we have three new pens, and I'm only uh, I only have to pen this shade, and then this shade, which is like super close. So I think uh, hopefully we're gonna get there soon. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to completely use her up this year, but I'm gonna try to like really work on this during summer. I mean, I've only used her 38 times, and look how she looks like. So. Yeah, like I think I could do like 20 uses throughout summer, at least like in some of these shades and uh, really get some uses in her and hopefully we could speed this whole thing up and by the end of the year uh, we could have her at least like looking very close to hitting pan on or like uh, to, to be used up. So that's the earth. 
Then another like mini palette is the Liana palette by Shall We Makeup. So we were at 13 uses at the end of last year or beginning of this year and now we're at 23 uses so I've already used her 10 times this year and as you can see the only pen is this shade but this shade is so close like it's it's really uh there's like a huge dip in there and uh, this shade also kind of looks closer so yeah uh i think at least one new pen uh, i'm gonna be able to create during summer and then maybe some more in the uh like in the rest of the year then we have the tinkerbell palette by colourpop mine looks a little bit different um there's supposed to be different shade here that I normally use there, but I just kind of, I'm using it in a build your own palette, so ignore that. And these three are like singles or from other palettes, so ignore that. But these six are the original uh, shades. Uh, at the end of the year, I had 24 uses and now I've been able to use her 35 times, so we got uh, 11 uses in her. And as you can see, there are two pens. I think this one... This probably already had a pen because I think it happened after 23 uses of the palette. So I think uh, there was tiny pen in this one. But this pen is new. Uh, and uh, I think we're going to be able to pen at least one more shade by the end of the year. So yeah, two pens. I'm quite happy about that and 11 uses so far considering that it's not my most used palette um i'm quite happy about it and i do use her a lot with either the liana or the earth palette and i might use her with some of the singles from the um from the little palette then another color pop is the legend of cora palette that came out last year and we were at 28 uses and now we're at 38 so i've used her 10 times so far uh, i think the only pen uh, that was there and that still is there is this uh, rebel spirit shade uh, i definitely want to use this up during summer which i think i will be able and if i'm not gonna be able to use it during summer i'm gonna use it up during winter as a highlighter uh, but i really want to get rid of this shade and use another shade there and yeah and i want to do something about this shade but i don't know maybe i'm just gonna throw it away because i don't know if i'm gonna be able to actually but yeah she's just like uh uh i think she was here only for this shade so it's fine and i'm also really close to this shade which is a terra moons uh, i think it's called star sign but yeah i'm really close to this one as well so that's the Legend of Korra. And then we have two Christmas palettes by Odin's Eye. This is my main project pen like um, for this year. And we're gonna start with the Christmas Eve palette. Uh, at the end of last year, we had 63 uses in her. And now we're at 84. So we've used her 21 times this year. And as you can see, most of the shades have been uh, I only have four shades that don't have any pen, which is the Hot Cocoa, which is gonna be soon because I use it as a eyeliner quite a bit. And as you can see, like it's it's definitely getting there. And then we have the Gingerbread shade, which that's gonna take a while, I think. But um, I also use it uh, as a blush sometimes. Then uh, Poinsettia. Uh, I don't like this shade, but I'm trying to use it as a uh, kind of like a red pigment for uh, clear lip glosses to just kind of make my own lip gloss. And then the shade New Leaf. Again, like I just, I need to be better at using this one. But all the rest has pants and I really want to have uh, this whole palette uh, at least down to pan and uh even maybe like if we would be able to use up some of these shades i really want to use up this multi-chrome called elf wish because it's um it's that kind of formula that i feel like doesn't really last long and i feel like it's gonna get uh i, th I feel like it's gonna go bad soon so yeah uh i wanna 
I want to kind of use that one up. But I think we're making really nice progress. I think the only pants that I had at the end of last year was the shade Elf Wish, then the Best Wish, then I think the New Year. Um, snowman and I think also the matcha cookie I think that happened very uh, late in December uh, kind of at the end of the year so yeah I think these were uh, the whole these were the only shades like all the green ones and so we're definitely we definitely got better I think the last pen is this black shade or actually maybe this one because I've used it as a eyeliner not that long ago. So yeah, I'm very happy about this one. And then the Christmas Eve palette. She's... I'm not as good with her, but uh, I'm still trying. And the Eve went from 53 uses to 71 uses. So I've used her 18 times. Um... in the past six months. I think this one only had four pants last year. I think it was only the shade Gorgeous, Snow Light, Lima Up Tart, and the shade Snowflake. And as you can see now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pants. Um, and this shade is super close, this shade is super close. So yeah, uh, I think we're also gonna be able to do at least like two-thirds of this palette by the end of the year i hope for more pens but you know uh you have to be realistic so yeah we're, we're really going uh for it and these definitely are getting really uh really used and i definitely want to keep on going uh, i don't think i'm gonna be able to use them up this year but as you can see like we're really making progress and if we could have at least like all the shades uh, down to pan that would be really cool and maybe some of them used up but you know i i would rather just use up the earth palette first and then focus on these so that's kind of what i'm doing right now and now for the face products so now for the face products uh, i think uh, we had this essence prom studio uh, hydrating skin refreshing primer with coconut water and hyaluronic acid i still have this one i've used it today actually but there's so little product like i can barely squeeze anything so i think this week i'm gonna be able to use it up and it's gonna go out of my collection so yeah, I still have it, but um, it's on its last breath and it's definitely gonna go out soon. Then we have the uh, under 20 uh, anti-acne mattifying BB cream uh, in the shade 02. I actually tried to use this one today, but I had to take it off because it was so... It was so weird it felt like clay and it immediately started like dissolving from my face and kind of forming these clots or like you know these it kind of started peeling so and i think i haven't used it since um since december like i think i'm only i've only used it once today so yeah it's like two years old it definitely isn't in the right uh state and i am um, I'm putting it into my declutter because yeah, I don't think it's gonna work. Maybe I'll try tomorrow with like different base because I have my sunscreen on today. So maybe I'm gonna try it without sunscreen. But I don't really believe that that would help. So yeah, I'm just gonna try it to see. Then another product is my Essence Mattifying um, Powder. It's the All About Matte, I think. And I actually had to put it in my um, DIY like magnetic palette because the um, the actual compartment, the plastic compartment, completely broke off. It was super shattered and just like didn't really work. So I just 
stuck some magnetic um, like foil and I have it in the in the little pen. This one the pen is definitely bigger. I feel like it was like you can see the like a dirty spot in the middle. That's the original pen, so we definitely made it bigger. I don't use this one very often, but you know. We're we're getting a little bit more uses. Now we're at 164 uses and I think we were at like 120 something if i remember that correctly so you know i'm trying it's just i don't use powders very often so that's that now for oh my god now uh, i had three she glam products i had uh, two highlighters the chroma glow bloom liquid highlighters i have this one in solar flare then I had the Flying Comet, which I fused up, and it's in my... I'm gonna link the monthly empties that it was in with all the like statistics that I've mentioned there. And there was also a bronzer in the shade, I think it was like tan or something, uh, which I no longer have because I just kind of didn't like it enough. So I actually gave it to a friend. But uh, the Solar Flare uh, highlighter, we're currently at 26 uses. And there's still some product left. And from the Flying Comet, I think I've been able to use it 52 times, if I'm not mistaken. And I think I've also uh, included in that previous video the blush, uh, the liquid blush. I think it's called like Day Glow Liquid Blush or something. Uh, in the shade float on i've been able to use that one up and that one had like 67 uses in it in total so those are the all the chic lamp products and i uh, currently only have the solar flare one which is like a goldy rng liquid highlighter that i think i'm gonna be able to use a lot during summer and i definitely want to use it and hopefully use it up during summer then I have two kind of blush highlighter duos. Uh, these are from Colourpop. And it, uh, these are the pearlized blushes. So I have the shade All Laced Up. Which I believe didn't have any pen uh, back in December. Because this one is very pigmented. So I only use like a little bit of it. Also it's really shiny. So like you really see it on the face. But now I've been able to use it 51 times. And I've hit pen after 49 times. So, yeah, and as you can see, like there's very little of it left. It's mostly just around the sides. So, we're making progress with this one. And I also want to use this one a lot during summer to, uh, to like make the pen a little bit larger. I actually have this in my shop my stash for this month. So, I will link the shop my stash as well. And then I have this one, which is the shade Chiffon. And I think this one had a pen, uh, but it was mostly just a mistake because this one, on the other hand, doesn't really have a lot of pigment. It's mostly just like a wet shine. Um, so I think this should be marketed as a duochrome blush, uh, sorry, duochrome highlighter, not a blush because it really doesn't have any like base color. Uh, so you have to use a lot of it. I actually repressed it. So after I filmed that video, uh, in December, I actually like repressed it and thought of it as like not never having pen in the first place because it just it made no sense. It was literally like I used it like five times by that time, and uh, it already had pen. But now we're at twenty six uses, and this pen happened after twenty three uses. Uh, the like more legitimate pen and as you can see I don't know if you can see but it's so hollow at this point and it's literally only like only a little bit of product so I definitely think I will be able to completely use this up this year because there's just so little of it and for the shade all laced up we'll see if I'm gonna be able to or not then I have the NYX uh, and uh, Fate highlighter collection uh, I don't know if you can still see the little butterfly that was in the middle. I feel like you can still kind of see it. But yeah, this is a... These are two highlighters. I actually had to repress the pink shade. 
or like the pink side because this one i don't know it's like very loose and it likes to fall out of the compartment but this one there's not that lot lot of product like this is definitely a lot more raised than this side and i've been able to use this side 34 times and this side 29 times and as you can see it doesn't have a pen and it didn't have a pen back in december but uh, i really want to get more uses out of this and maybe create at least one pen which i think is going to be really easy in the purple shade or like the pinky shade because it's there's not that much of it left but i really like how this looks it's very kind of wet looking um highlighter and it's it's a favorite of mine and i think that's all for the um for all of the products so let me know uh what you thought about this and and uh if you like this progress i'm really happy with the palettes that we used uh all of them like at least 10 times some of them even more like the merry christmas palette i think that was 20 times if i remember that correctly this was like 18 or something so yeah uh i've definitely been trying to use them as much as i can but obviously i have a lot of new makeup as well and also um just like i rotate a lot of makeup so i don't only focus on my project pants but i do try to use all of them at least once in a while on like somewhat of monthly basis so that it gets used up uh let me know what kind of progress you had if you if you've been able to create some pens this year or completely use up some of these products definitely let me know and um if you don't participate in project pen let me know if you would be interested in that in if you like using up your products or if you're too scared to run out of them because i know some people have that kind of problem problem so definitely let me know which um which side you're on and like what's your uh philosophy when it comes to these products and i will definitely see you tomorrow or in a couple days with the haggard uh review so uh, i hope you have a great day and i will be very happy to see you in my next video so bye